Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom, and today I wanted to share with you the stocking stuffers I got for Grady. He just turned four, so it was really fun getting all the stuff to go in his stocking. Um, now, I wanted to show you the actual stocking. It's pretty large, but it's not that long. So, the items I picked up, some of the things will have to be taken out of the package to be able to fit in here, and I will show you guys what those things are when I get to it. Um, but everything I figured um, with a couple things being taken out of the package should fit in here. Um, I like the stocking to be really stuffed full. That's how my mom did it. So most of you know I like to do things like my mom. So before I, I was going to sit down and wrap everything and put it in the stocking. And I decided to film this video before I did that so you could see what is going in there. Uh, in case you are looking for ideas for a toddler or a three, four, five year old. Um, for their stocking. So let me go ahead and show you guys what I picked up for it. The first thing I got for his stocking are these Crayola Twistable Color Swirl Bathtub Crayons. And they have all different color combinations as you can see here. And I think he's had something like this before, but not these exact ones. Um, he really enjoys playing with things like this in the bathtub. Um, he just really loves to color in general. So it's kind of a fun little toy for him to use in the bath. These I got at Babies R Us or Toys R Us, but I know that places like Walmart or Target would have them as well. Um, and I think they were about, about $5. So I know he's really gonna like these. These may or may not have to come out of the package. I think I can get them in without taking them out. Um, but I think he's really gonna like those. Next up, also at Toys R Us, they were having a sale on their Matchbox cars. And my son, like most little boys, loves cars. Loves anything, transportation, planes, trains, boats, trucks. Um, so they had the five pack sets um, on sale. And I think these were $6.99 each. And then you buy, it was buy one, get 40% off the second one. So one of these was full price, $6.99, and the other one was 40% off, which I think is what? $2.99 or $3. Um, and I really like the actual Matchbox brand because they are much better made, in my opinion, than like a generic brand. Um, and I think they just last longer. And my son definitely plays with all of his little Matchbox cars. So this one here is the City Works 5-pack. So it has a bus, a, like a UPS kind of a truck, a police sort of swap vehicle, a uh, maintenance truck and like a garbage truck and he's really gonna like these. I tried to get uh, vehicles that he didn't have a ton of um, so that is the first one. This will have to come out of the package as well as this. So what I'm going to do is take them all out and I'm gonna put them all in like a cellophane bag, a clear bag, so when he takes it out of the stocking and unwraps it he can see what it is through the little bag because um, these boxes are too bulky to both fit in that stocking. The next set I got is the Jurassic World set right here. Uh, this one comes with um, everything Jurassic Park themed. So a construction truck, um, a backhoe, it looks like um, like a bulldozer, you know, construction related stuff with that Jurassic World theme. Um, so I thought these were really cute and he's into dinosaurs. Um, he has not seen the Jurassic World movie, but I think he'll really, really like these. He loves anything sort of rugged slash construction. So again, these two I'll take out of the packaging and put in like a cellophane bag and then wrap the bag. Um, next up, I got him, he loves to color like I mentioned. So I got him a fresh new set of colored pencils. These are the Crazy Art brand right here. This is a 36 pack, so it's a lot of variety of colors. These were pretty inexpensive. I believe I got these at Walmart and they were definitely less than $5, maybe closer to $3. So I got these for him because he does have some colored pencils, but a lot of them are old and kind of worn down. So I got him a fresh set, and along with that same line, I also got him his own little pencil sharpener because I think he'll really love being able to sharpen his own pencils. And I like this one because it has the little um, container here to catch the shavings. And this one, uh, it just says sharpens number two and jum jumbo pencils and colored Pencils and crayons. So this I got at Walmart as well. It was very inexpensive. I think it was like two bucks. So that one's really, uh, this will go kind of hand in hand with these things. So I'm probably going to wrap these two things together. 
Next up, I got him these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle three pack confetti crayons. These were $1 at Toys R Us in the checkout, in the actual register line. Uh, you know how they have the little things that always get you and then the kids always want candy or toys. I thought these were really cool to put in his stocking as well because, again, they were a dollar. Um, but I just thought they were kind of a neat concept with a confetti. Again, he loves to draw, loves to do art. Um, so I thought these were kind of cool to add to the collection. And they write in like a rainbow um, color just like that, you can see. So again, uh, Toys R Us in the register checkout lane, uh, checkout section for a dollar. Next, at also at Toys R Us, or Babies R Us, um, the one that I go to has both combined. I saw these, I've never seen them before. They are called Neat Cheeks, and they look like this. They did have them in bigger packages, but I wanted to get a small one um, to be able to fit in the stocking. And this is a flavored face wipe, which sounds odd. It says, first face wipe with flavor. And it's flavored with stevia. Um, and it says it's flavored with all natural stevia, no sticky or icky tasting residue. It's moisturizing, hypoallergenic, pediatrician and dermatologist tested, fragrance and alcohol free. So pretty much it's just a glorified face wipe, if you will. Um, but whenever we're out and about, and my son has a snack or a drink or gets his hands sticky or whatever the case may be, I just thought it was a cool little novelty thing to put in his uh, stocking um, because he loves wiping his hands and cleaning his hands or wiping his nose. So I just thought these were really cool and I like the fact that they're flavored, it's kind of interesting. So if they are end up being good, I might go back and get the bigger pack just because in the winter, um, you know, over the winter, winter break when we're out, we can use these on the go. So I got those. Sort of along the same lines, I got the travel size little boogie wipes um, packet. This is just a 10 pack, I believe, yes. This is the natural fresh scent, the original scent. Um, my son, like I said, like, likes to wipe his hands and face and nose. And with cold season coming up, uh, it's pretty obvious that most kids get sick or get a cold. Um, of course, we hope they don't, but just in case in the event that it happens, he does like these. He knows what they are. He recognizes the packaging, both this color and the purple one. So um, I just thought that I'd stick those in there as a fun little thing, even though they really are more for me to use on him. Um, I also picked him up this bubble bath. He is obsessed with bubbles in general and taking a bubble bath. This is by a brand called Baby Mantra, um, which I also got at Babies R Us slash Toys R Us. Um, it is an all natural uh, company and this is a three in one bubble bath shampoo and wash with lavender oil and aloe. Packaging looks like this. I have never seen this brand before until I recently went to Babies R Us. Um, it was a little bit more on the expensive side around comparable to like California Baby. Um, but my son has very sensitive skin and he does get eczema in the winter. So I like to go with things that are natural, especially when he's going to be sitting in it, since we will use this for bubble bath. Um, so I decided to put this in his stocking. He will most definitely know what this is by the look and shape of the bottle. And he actually likes to pour his own bubbles into the bathtub. So um, I decided that would be a fun little thing as well. And then lastly, I got a, you can't have a stocking without a little bit of candy. I'm not gonna fill his stocking, obviously, with candy. Um, but I did get him a couple sweet treats. I got him this little candy cane with just regular M&Ms inside um, as a sweet treat because, you know, it's the holidays and I don't mind letting him have a little candy on a special occasion. So I got him this um, candy cane M&M thing. And then I also got, I'm going to give him these four little teeny tiny bags of gummy bears. I actually got a huge bag of, I think it had like 30 of these little, these are really small guys these little teeny tiny packages of gummy bears. I actually found the big bag in New York randomly. I was not looking for it. I mean, who goes to a store looking for mini gummy bears? But I was at Home Goods with my mom and I just so happened to see the bag of these and I noticed that they were really, really tiny, which I really liked because it's just kind of the right size for a sweet treat for either yourself or your little one, you know, as a treat. Um, so I'm gonna put four little packets of these in his stocking as well again just because it's the holidays and I wanted to do a little something sweet for him so yeah that is everything that is in his stocking this year um, and I really hope that he loves everything I think that he will and I hope you guys enjoyed I hope maybe it gave you an idea if you are looking for stocking stuffers for your little one have a great day guys and I will see you all very soon bye